Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate. It is session 16. I am Ryan, the GM. It is the 17th of August, 2019. Here are some of the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Human Storm Star Sorcerer called Eric Greenwood. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, who is a half elf druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I play a half orc paladin called Crumbar. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty the Kill. A Tabaxi Rogue, because we lost a bit of our audio there. Mm. T Rogue. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It was just, it was just T -rogue. Tabaxi that we, we lost, weirdly. T Rogue. I'm T Rogue. T Rogue. T Rogue. I nailed my intro. I said it so fast I could never fail. <laughs> so I thought you were doing it. I was like, you say that really fast and like, mess it up. <laughs> T Rogue. Now, hello. Uh, there is no Stuart. As he is watching the Rocky Horror Picture Show, enjoy, Stuart. Um, right. No, so, imagine not showing up to your game session, man. It's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Hush you. Um, so. Yes, this half past five starts. <laughs> yes, it's got. Uh, <laughs> it's half five somewhere. Yes, not here. Um, In the middle of the Atlantic. <laughs> Actually, it, it isn't. It's 5.10 somewhere. Yeah, well, true that. If we are to be pedantic. Now, well, how, I'm... How multiversal are we going with this, right? Oh, we, God. Yeah, Don't do that. Not, oh, oh, no. Moving on. Uh, who remembers what happened last time? I got a special gem on my hammer and slammed the floor. Mm -hmm. It was a big spooky guy. Um, there was a Balrog fight in uh, Smaug. Um, I would love to see that. <laughs> I mean, didn't you watch the end of it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else happened? Just yeeted the heck out of that. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's so many dagger rolls. What the fuck? It's best you don't think about it. <laughs> it's really best you don't think about it. Ignore the dagger rules. Pay no attention to the rules behind the curtain. <laughs> wow, I, there are actually so many dagger rules. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's again. Don't worry. About I don't it. remember Sorry. this many dagger rolls in last I, session. Right, mm. I think it's dead. Okay. No, you miss every time. I think you mean <laughs> they are dead, Scott. Oh. Oh, it's the crabs. Yeah. Who has crabs? No. <laughs> right, so, I guess we remember what happened last time. <laughs> Sophie got crabs? No. What? No. No. It's got no. behave. Now, goals. As I discussed last time, uh, we have achieved the find out what's happening at the abyss. Something's going on. Big ritual of some kind. Seems to be something things. Big tear in space. Big problems. No money. Then he's also got to complete return from the abyss because I just didn't want to do all the admin this this session because mm. obviously the during the week admin took long enough. Um, just to fit it into everyone's lives. Uh, besides that, yeah. What would you like this week's goal to be, or the new goal? I put some ideas in the pen and golf section. If yeah, I quite, I quite like them. Um, definitely find a uh, great gold worm would be a good one. Yeah, do you uh, reckon because, that should be our next priority? Yeah, because I think that should kind of be a either find a great gold worm, find out more about Lord Janus, or definitely open these damn letters. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it does need to be something on that list. So Scott, it could be something that like yeah, no, I'm 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 just saying like out of just what he's put because see for seal the abyss that's going to really happen after we find the great gold worm. So I think finding the great gold worm would definitely be a good one. Um, where was it that you took us to? Was it the library again? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I wasn't really that specific. I said li library afterwards. I said the first place I heard the mistress. So that could be wherever the hell. Cause I can't remember where the first place I heard of the when mistress you say, was. When you say the mistress, do you mean... Uh, I was going to say Siri, but that fucking Apple. Um, <laughs> no, Alexa. You mean Missy. I was going to say... What's her name? Chlamydia? No. 
come to <laughs> war. <laughs> Have you just got like STDs and things on the brain or something? Probably. Well, you don't want that. Um, that sounds weird. <laughs> Celeste. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. She didn't mention the, uh, the mistress at all. So who's the mistress then? Uh, something that Eric would care about. Not necessarily something Crumbar would be aware of. Yeah. Okay, right. I have no idea where so we are So the fact that you don't know isn't a bad thing. You're not necessarily meant to know yet. Right, okay. No, I was just wondering if like you just knew Celeste by a different name. No, she's uh, the hooded woman to more. Right. Uh Yeah. <laughs> find out where the hell we are. I mean that'd be quick, easy, get a free mm-hmm. XP. I think I, I think I think find the Great Gold Burn would be a good good goal to set ourselves because I think that especially because be... that's kind of like the parting words that you. Yeah, um, it's like yo, your son getting absolute buoyed up in a fat. No, let's talk about that, right? Yeah, because so... he told us to leave. If he was very confident that he could beat that thing, he would have just been like, "Stay back while I deal with this." I don't know. Like, I don't know. It, it so our just, goal could... is to find their fine. Your connections okay. are Part... again. Just so yeah. you know. It's either that or he's doing a whole Gandalf and just stealing all the XP for himself. Fly, you fools. <laughs> now, well, that's not bad. As I said, keep keep this in mind, right? So if he's picked, for example, find the Great Gold Worm, that's like a, a step to achieving something, right? Mm-hmm. So what is it you are actually trying to achieve by finding the Great Gold Worm? This thing right below it, sealing the abyss, or no, because again, sealing the abyss is fixing the fact that there's a tear in the abyss. Mm-hmm. Those two steps have nothing to do with the great gold worm. Oh, we're saving, saving uh, oh, what's his name, Arnold? No, that's the other guy, Gil, Gil. is the name you're thinking of. So, yes, you want to find the great gold worm to tell the great gold worm about the abyss so it would be in form mm-hmm. or get word to the great gold worm of the ah, yeah. the, the way how that's a different goal because yeah. not everybody gets an audience with the great gold worm that's a good point can you see my thinking here from the, yeah. uh, like a what would happen in world and what wouldn't so find the great gold worm is fine you could attempt that but like some people might treat that as find god <laughs> You know? Yeah, um, but this is currently thing I say in the hell. I think we'll probably want or the main set us all on. You're very I think you'll probably be very one sec. Yeah. Um Hey, right, get a message to the great gold worm. Adri, send test. Hopefully this will be better. Um yeah, but I yep. have Therefore, Jesus is currently fighting a bad thing in hell due to a mission that he sent us on, so he'll probably be much more each with us. Nope, there's definitely something on your side messing with your internet. Try, so. try updating yeah. Discord. Is there a little green arrow at the top right area of Discord at all? I mean, all I heard to say was Jesus fighting a bat, bat in hell. hell. Yeah, it sounds awesome. It sounds like a meatloaf album. It did. Um, very second or two. Uh, but again, that just depends if you want to try and have that as your next big A. Uh... Mm-hmm. No, I mean, definitely. I mean, I think that would be a good one to go for. Yeah, we don't know when our letters are going to be open, so technically that should really be a goal because we don't know how to open it and how to proceed to open it. It's like they're going to open in time, so yeah, maybe not the best goal in the world. Sophie, what's your verdict? Um, probably to find the great gold worm. What's his fate? It's because, like, wasn't it? Is so that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's saying, are we going to find them or are we just going to get a message to them? I mean, it depends where we are. Depends how feasible it is to actually find him as opposed to like sending a message. So, I mean, the thing is, if we keep it as get a message to the Great Gold Worm, 
there's no reason that can't be us that delivers the message or someone yeah. else. Yeah, or something else. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I think that would be a good goal to have. Mm. And then that can be something we can assess once we actually Do you have anything else running as well? Because well, you're a bit stuttery as well, voice-wise. Anything else uh, taxing your connection? No. And it might just be all the tabs that I've got open for all the You'd dice. be surprised how actually that would affect it, believe it or not. Yeah. It's, it's, I know. <laughs> um, so far. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm saying bad tabs is a four. Nope. Uh, right does away, it currently... it's bad again. Like, it's so hit and, like, so oh, robotic. I don't know what to do now. It's so weird. Like, you start off okay, but then... Oh, oh god, that's even worse. I think she's switching. <laughs> or just digitally screaming. <laughs> she just turned into what auto now? tune. <laughs> what now, guys? Yeah, it's still a bit weird, okay. but it's not as bad. Hear more? I don't even know. I'm just no. going to buy it, honestly, so I'll put you guys through this again. As I said, I'm not even sure if it's a headset problem. It sounds more like a connection problem, to be honest. But I don't know. Yeah. Okay, who knows? Audio problems are horrible. But we'll see. How I we don't go. know. We'll see how we go. Weirdly, I think when you speak slowly at the start, it works fine. It's when okay. you speak at your normal speed, it seems to just oh, not okay. like you. I wonder. Okay. We'll see how this goes. I will try to have the more calm and placid sort of way of speaking, and hopefully that should help. It is already um, helping, by the way, because we're not dropping as much per like drop of the words that you say, which is really good. It makes sense uh, to me. Um, okay. What is your opinion of what goal we should do? I do think that we should do what Gil said and try to find this other, as in the worm. Um, I think that might be the thing to do. I also think that Arya herself will have a little personal goal of getting back in possession of Ruya, because mm. she'll, she'll, she'll want her back by now, just saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. But, um, overall, I do think that at the moment, the goal should be doing exactly what Jill's been telling us to do, which is find his father, and tell him what's going on, and he might want to, like, come to Sun's aid, because... If his son was fine and dandy there, he wouldn't have told us to just go and run. Mm. He essentially was thinking, I think, yeah, he like sacrificing himself. This fool is beyond yeah. any of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> run, you fools, basically. Yeah. So, um, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, makes sense. Now, how do you want that worded as your act of goal? Inform the great gold worm of the happenings at the abyss. That's a good way to do it. I like that. Somebody put it in the active goals for me. Yeah, it's safe as sheets, you can mess around with it. <laughs> we will await the update. Oh, it's super tiny. Okay, well, not everyone's as what? I mean, that's why I was saying super tiny. I was referencing. Still fairly small compared, but that's a, that's a me thing. It's not the size that matters. It's what you do with it. <laughs> <laughs> now Callum catches up to my double entendre. <laughs> right. Inform VW of the Abyss. Yeah, that seems like a decent goal to do. Cool. Right, cool. Do you want to make that a medium goal for me? We have a party, we have a goal. The goal. There we go. Sorted. There mm. we go. Right, so. I believe everyone's tumbling through angry red vortex energy, which is wow. exactly where yep. we left the last time. Yeet. <laughs> and then, can everyone roll? A dexterity save for me. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, 
my goodness. Plus four and end up with a nine. How sad is that? <laughs> Kitty That's... and Arya. Can you tell me... Plant why... conoratus? Yeah, can you tell me why you don't make the landing? <laughs> what is it about well... being dropped from this... Well, for me, obviously, it's very unnatural and very weird, and just, you know, the feeling I've probably never had, just random falling through. So I'm, I'm just very confused by the entire situation, and I didn't realize when we actually are approaching the ground and don't raise myself to come and fall out. Yeah, because as soon as the hammer hit when you were all standing around, Eric, it was literally just like this big kind of like circular, almost kind of like Stargate style, like pool opens up of like red energy as you like fall into it. Um, and there's very little perception of actually like traveling through it, only the kind of mild flashes of red and then you fall from like, you know, an aperture in the sky into this room. Uh, Crumbar and Eric weirdly land it. Probably something to do with hammers, probably. Um, <laughs> Hammer bros. You just have to like, travel yeah. by hammer, of course. We land like four. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You just find yourselves in a library. In a library? Right. Is it the one we were in before? Like, the one at the yeah, Golden just... Order? It looks similar. With but me being again, a library is a library is a library. With me being a member of the Golden Order, would I recognize it as a library of the Golden Order? Yeah. You would. And do I? So it is a gold be that pedantic, don't worry. <laughs> oh, you're electronic now. Now is it me that's electronic? Is that the problem? Or am I coming through fine? Mm. Everything good? Please stand by. Oh, there we go. Yep, I'm back. Oh, should we good? Yeah. That was, me that, time. that was so weird. That was weird. Everyone just got that. Yeah, so I know it is a library of the Golden Order, yeah? Yeah. Um, can I tell what time of day it is? Is it like daytime, uh, no, night? Because there's this place just Did seems you? to be illuminated, okay. but there's no windows. I just shout out um, very loudly, Librarian! <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm cook. I'm like okay, fair enough. So as you um hit the ground, as it were, and it's um not that you like specifically land it like amazingly or anything. It's just that you don't take you know damage, damage. from the fall. So can a uh, Sophie and a uh, Adri, because apparently I'm using player names now, roll a d6 each and take that as damage. Pooh. There you go, team three. <laughs> oh god, you had to land on your face at some sort of force for that. Yeah. Boxers' noses for both of you. <laughs> it's maybe just that you hit off a shelf or something on the way down. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's probably just like really ungracious. And then the room's kind yeah. of bathed in this red light briefly. Um, as you just look up, and then the kind of big swirling portal above you just like closes in in itself. Um, the entire time, Eric, when you fall, the hammer's kind of drawn towards the portal. Um, so as you land, the hammer's like holding up the way, as if you're almost like maybe it's why you land the best, um, because you're kind of like being supported by it in a way. Um, and then only when the portal closes does the hammer get light enough to like pull back towards you as if it was drawn to it Ooh. and then the like 
the red light within the kind of crystal veins from the ruby that's on it all kind of shimmer inside as if it's like pulsating red light very gently it's almost watching. like there's liquid inside it but there's not it's just the weird light if that makes sense yeah. and then the this is when crumbar looks around to try and work out what time of day it is and it's just a bright room because crumbar knows the libraries of the golden order are lit this library be lit yo <laughs> <We're> thinking that. <laughs> so yeah. What do you do? Crumbar yells out, Librarian Yep, so you do that. What does everybody else do now that you hear Crumbar? Just shouting. <laughs> Just pick myself up, dust myself off a little bit. <laughs> uh I'm gonna pop my hammer away so no one can see the redness. But we not have noticed when yeah, it means other people. happened. I mean, other people. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Because if Krumba um, is shouting librarian, I can put one and one together and assume that this is a golden order library. This red crystal might might not swing. Well, like I said, like Kitty said, I think we're just. I'm just gonna also be standing up and like, you know. Dusting myself out, okay. looking around, trying to figure out where I am. These guys, this guy yells librarian. Like, okay, that's what, that's where we are. I'm gonna look at everyone and go like, another happy landing. <laughs> Based on no context at all, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no meta comment. What? Um, yeah. No, so we've we're, we've already had one landing, haven't we? In the abyss. Was that happy though, really? I mean, I mean to, to a certain extent, yeah, sure. Just five paladins. <laughs> I mean, that's five less religious people. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, mate. They're not mean in this age, I think. Right, okay. I'm just saying, the light is a perspective. Okay. Anyway. So that now that we know where we are, can already? we try to figure out how to find the golden worm? Like, can we like run out of here and go to the room where we went to him and see if he's there? He won't be, but we can try. Well, we ain't got a clue where we're going. We're in the middle of the library, and if it's a golden library, it's huge. Probably best if we wait for Crumbar's librarian to come waltzing over and be like, all right, you guys Let's are here us out. Okay, fair enough then. Do we hear the librarian coming? Or is there any, like, signs towards the exit or something? Uh, no. Where's your birdie? Is your birdie here? Can you call your birdie? Or do your birdie will never hear of us? I'm not gonna randomly leave my bird in the library now, would I? Like, first of all, the librarian would fucking kill me. Or it. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, okay, can we search for a way out? Yeah, sure. Uh... Somebody can help, and somebody can do a survival check, so who wants to help? I'll help, since obviously Golden Order, I should know my way about. Well, shouldn't you be leading it then? Yeah, and I'll help you. Okay, so that sounds roll good. with advantage, Grumbar. Uh, what am I... And what, sorry? Survival. Survival. Uh, uh, bottom one. Right, so Eric's help was crucial. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here before. I know this place, but I've no idea which way to go. This is the oh, part wait. where I electrified myself touching a book. <laughs> <laughs> you can still see the black marks on the floor. Oh, look, there's still some of my hair there. <laughs> so yeah, the um, yeah, you work your way towards the uh, the front. It takes about. Maybe 45 minutes, believe it or not. To go all the way through the library. Ah, damn. What is this, like a two and a half mile walk? It's just that, like, none of the shelves are, like, straight as such. They, they all, like, curve and twist and bend and whatnot. So you're never, ever walking, like, a straight line. And you go so far, and then it's, like, a cross kind of, like, shelf. So you have to go follow that line until it crosses again. I forgot to ask. The bit of the library that we landed in, was it in any way special? Was it, like... I don't know. 
Is this where I got my book? Or the X section, or where Aramos left his mark section, or so there's anything special about it, anyway. There's any marks on the floor, and you never checked any shelves to see if this is where you got the book, and you wouldn't Fair know, because yeah. for Eric, you wouldn't know, because you never looked at the shelf to see what else was on it when you got Fair the book. Enough. Yeah. So, yes, possibly, is the answer to all of those, except the mark okay. on the floor, because there's yeah, a was, black I wasn't... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But there is no I should have asked this earlier. That's mm -hmm. okay. No, like you, you, you would have noticed it if it had been there because it wasn't subtle on Eremos's part. Let's face it. Um, <laughs> was there any, like, is there any debris or anything that's left because we landed oh, there? Like, or did anything come through with you, or do you mean did anything get broken? Like, yeah, is the floor is still perfect. Is there no? Is it just as clean as it was previously, yeah, or like whatever? Yeah, you, you, you landed on the floor and like it kind of absorbed. Just hitting it, it wasn't like cracked or broken or anything. No, that's that's completely. Oh, yeah. damn it! We've not left a mark so that we can go and check. If there's <laughs> anything special about that spot, okay, never mind. We're not going to be confronted by God or paladins. Like, who the hell are you, and why have you come into our like citadel unannounced, like you via magical means? With... Mm -hmm. Good point. Good point. Two, in fact. Two. Yeah, well, technically one that's present and accounted for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine I was not even kidding, and you thought just because he wasn't here physically still playing him. Like, imagine just Reach wasn't here. <laughs> imagine. Imagine yeah. story. Is it, is it, isn't that what we're kind of doing playing this game? <laughs> imagine. Anyway, so, yeah, you get 45 minutes wandering through. Do you talk about anything or just walk? <laughs> like, it's a long time to um, just walk. Does, it, does anyone have, like, any spare, like, robes, clothes or anything so I can hide my, uh, my like blue scars. I don't feel comfortable walking around with these sh on show. You're fine. You're with me. I'll vouch. For you. I have a bedroll. You can like put on your shoulders or whatever. I don't know. Do, will that work, right? Well, can I? Uh, I'll just hide, I mean, hide you know, it in the You can always pretend to be yeah, really cold and whatever. I mean, you you need your hood up, but yeah. I mean, I don't know if my hood would have survived the. Uh, be optimistic. The shocking experience. Pre yeah. Just be optimistic and assume that it did. Well, I mean, I should let, sleep and let the DM tell you otherwise. It's just covered in blood, you know? That's all there is. You're just covered in blood. That's all. Yeah, and by the time the game engine has to not render the blood anymore, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you. It depends how hard you want to make it for yourself, because if you don't have a hood, it's going to be very difficult to hide your, like, glowing blue eyes, kind of broken veins all over your body uh, that glow blue. Can I just wrap myself up so I'm just barely then, poking my eyes why out? are they smuggling some weird walking corpse body wrapped in a blanket? I'm just like I was uh, saying it. naked. I'm naked. Don't look at me. Like I was saying as well, you're going to be with me, so it's like... But there's nothing wrong with wrapping a blanket around you. Like if if um, Arya gives you our, our bedroll, yeah, you could totally wrap that around you and just try and hide some of you. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I just I just waltz around with like my arms I'd show then. If it don't really matter, it's fine. Oh, I never said it doesn't matter. Put saying, the blanket on. It's up to you. How Put the blanket on. <laughs> I can't say this is a level five danger move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay. I'll put the blanket on. I'm just going to assume that I have blown away my hood with my magical cool, cool. Sh shenanigans. So, yeah, so he asks for that from Arya. Arya's happy to adorn him with a bedroll. And what I love is it shows how noble Eric is because he has his own fucking bedroll. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's fine. Um, what's ever the MDL's having a conversation about? What the fuck just happened? Given that, yeah, you just went to the abyss. I'll, uh, I'll crouch think... down beside uh, Aramos and ask him how he's feeling. To be honest, he's like... surrounded by books. I think he's okay now. <laughs> yeah, but he, he, still, he still might be a wee bit shook up. Yeah. yeah. Say that I think I I'll be on his other something. side and like also oh, try to make sure not. He doesn't get distracted by books. That was what you I was going like to say. He did Rich when he was with me. On him so that he oh, good, get good. Distracted okay. by books. I was going to say. Okay, right, cool, right. cool. <laughs> but yeah, like, but... so what do you say to him then? Like, 
if you crouch down. Right, so I crouch down beside him, just be like, Eremos, are you okay after the horror deal at the abyss? And he kind of like, you can see that he's kind of been looking at the floor most of the time, and he kind of like looks up at you. Um, and considering that you technically kept him safe for most of the last bit of the abyss, mm. do you know what I mean? He's just going to kind of look at you, and he's, you know, instead of looking, I don't know, output, I guess, as he normally would look in general, um, when dealing with yourself, he uh, he just kind of looks at you like a normal kid would look at somebody like like a parent, if you will, that same kind of genuine mm. like I know I can trust you kind of stare into mm. your eyes, and he's just like, I really like being in, and he looks around. Here, this is better. I didn't. For what? For one, Saramus, I think I can agree with you. And then a, uh, I think at that point, like. It kind of like walks slightly past you, but not like too far away from you, and like kind of tugs on like the rags of uh, Eric's cloak. Uh, I just say uh, to. Oh, oh, Eric, right. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna look at him and go. Uh, what's up, Eric? And he stares at you with like his mouth slightly open and an eyebrow slightly raised. And he's like, and he holds up the kind of burnt out torch kind of handle, up to you. I don't need this anymore. <laughs> I'll take that off you, and I'll just take it off him and like kind of store it, I suppose, so it looks like it's still important. And then he looks at he's still kind of just staring at it, and he's like, "Are you okay?" And then he's, he's kind who's of he saying that to? Sorry, to Eric, because mm. Eric's glowing blue. <laughs> right, that's a big deal to Ermos. <laughs> Keep in mind, Ermos couldn't see most of this shit in the dark, so. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm and like, you're obviously really tired. Your, one of your arms is exposed for, for when you're moving the torch into the like the backpack from the blanket, and it slips, and you've got all the kind of blue lines down your arms. And he's kind of like just pointing at it, being like, um, it, it happens often. It's fine. The, uh, it's it's fine. Take 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 no need. D take no heed. It happens when I run out of magic. Oh. Will you get magic back? Yes, and they will disappear. Can you get... Until I run out again. Can you get enough for both of us? I don't know. This is uh, my magic, so I don't know if I can share my magic. I'm still fairly new to this myself, Eremos. I know a little bit of what I can do. And like he kind of looks a bit like his nose gets all like scrunched up as if he's clearly thinking and wanting to ask stuff but not asking. And he just slightly clutches his book a bit tighter across his chest and he's like, okay. And then he turns back to Crumbar, um, who's like just obviously crouched next to him. And then he just kind of like rests like a one of his hands, like maybe on your arm or something. Um, and then he doesn't really say anything, he just kind of just stands there as if waiting to see what you do next. <laughs> Gonna <Goodness>. touch you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Every just, time I touch, I get the feeling. No, I just say, I no, just say to him. So he's done. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, it's cool, cool. It's just in case you still want to talk. Uh, I just asked him. I was like, "Well, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. Are you still want, gonna want to hold on to that hand axe?" And then uh, I think at this point, like he kind of remembers that you gave him that, and he's like, "Oh." Um, and he kind of like lifts off his like it's been tucked into his belt. Mm -hmm. and he lifts up and he's like, "I couldn't hold my book and the torch and the axe." And he kind of like he sounds like really like sorry mm. <laughs> about it, even though that's not something to be sorry about. Um. And he kind of like awkwardly tries to hand it to you while holding his book. Mm -hmm. I just take it off him and just put it into my belt. Then I don't know. That's okay. You you never you didn't need to. The the situation didn't arise where you needed it. We kept just. And then he kind of just like nods, and he's like his hair like falls over his shoulders, and he's like, safe. And kind of just nods like at you, Grumbar. Mm. And then he's and still that... kind of side-eyeing like Eric because of his weird 
glowing eyes. <laughs> because of his weird blue. Yeah. He's got a question in the hammer? That's cool. No. He's a... I mean, weirder shit's happened to him, right? You took him to hell, <laughs> right? So. Mm. Like... And I brought something back from hell. I just, uh, I stand up and I just kind of walk past uh, Eric and I just kind of look at the hammer he's got and look at him and go, hmm. Yeah, good hammer. I just look at him like, good hammer. Now, is the too- hammer actually it's... in your belt, though, or is it back in your backpack? It's on my belt. Right, yeah, okay. I so thought that's what you visible. said. Yeah, I just say, just say to him, like, good hammer. Still too small, though, and just walk off. <laughs> Better than your hammer. No, I do oh. a little sneer face at him. Mm. It'll stick your tongue out. Mm. Can I can I can I swing my hammer? At I think the camera Eric comes face. to looking at like Eremos and Reach facing the camera side by side, and they both roll their eyes at the same time, <laughs> and then it comes back to you guys. So then we have Crumbar, like unless Kitty or Arya want to have conversation in the forty-five minutes. Mm. Arya. Sorry, I'm muted. Um, I would be, you know, just asking everybody, hey, is everybody okay? You know, that sort of, like, I would imagine everything's been, you know, quite hectic, happening quite quickly, and um, I would just be, you know, checking everybody's okay, you know, all limbs and eyes accounted for, and, you know, probably if we're, like, hungry or whatever, I'd be like, reaching into my bag for some rations and that sort of thing like mm-hmm. just being just, mom of the group yeah. on that on that topic of how is everyone how how injured are you and kitty me well mm. we, we leveled up so our hit points went back up to full all oh, right okay, no. i mean i did yet. take three damage like, but... technically your health hasn't gone up yet oh. i'm quite sure i hadn't at all Taken damage. No, I don't think you had. Um, yeah, I took three fall so... damage. So, yeah, yeah. Part, no, no, part so I mean... of fall damage. I mean, before that, like you technically air quote haven't leveled up in the game. If that makes sense, I know you've mm. done it mechanically, but you're still technically level three until a long rest. Technically, but I ten... don't imagine too much is going to happen before you attempt this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. ba- basically, <laughs> I don't need to heal anyone. No. no. That's cool. Right, let's continue on with the stoat. To no. So to no. Right. Uh yeah, so after like the forty five minute jaunt through the library, um you get to the point where uh, you see a familiar face, which is Dane. Which one's the, the library man. The lore keeper. Dane, you beautiful bastard. And I just give him a big hug. And he just puts his hand up very like curtly to stop you. Um, mm-hmm. And he says, that's Citadel Lorekeeper Valfiel to you, Paladin. <laughs> well then, Citadel Lorefader, we are hungry. <laughs> you just have like, the, he has, like an elven eyebrow raised. Like, the fuck? <laughs> um, Is there food in the mess hall? He just kind of like, you can see like the edge of his nostril like starting to like flare a little as well and he kind of like leans slightly around you and sees everybody else like rank and file and he says I didn't see you check into the library I just I just point at uh, Eric <laughs> and I'm like his fault <laughs> 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 and just give him a big grin and I think at that point as well like the um the lore keeper, I just says, if there is no food in the uh, the mess hall, you'll make food as you know this, and he kind of waves you off very like hurriedly. <laughs> Can I, uh, like, if is is everyone leaving at this point? Yeah, that's my question. So, Crumbar, do you um, head for the mess hall? I go. I'm going for food. Also, need to talk to the great gold worm. <laughs> just. And but and at that point, I just totally stole away to go. Yeah, get I was gonna food. say the lorekeeper isn't even paying attention to you anymore. He's too busy kind of maybe looking at somebody else in your party. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Oh, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. So does everybody else do follow Crumber? Or yeah, pretty much. chat with wonderful Dane? <laughs> I just like jump onto his back. Like, <laughs> tell her, let's go. <laughs> tell her. Just two knives in <laughs> to hold on to the armor. Crumber doesn't notice. <laughs> Too happy to be back. The idea of food. Wait, you're not level twenty yet. You don't get a mount. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you? You heading with the gang? Um, yeah. As knew that, I would definitely be like, I was gonna wish to request them, but you hold them more. I never got that. Definitely that be. Game. Okay, sorry. Well, as I was saying. If I do that, I would definitely be reminding the guys that we really should request an audience with the good worm as quick as possible. Yeah, be I. No, so I'll, I won't, what I'm saying is I won't allow myself to be fully distracted. Yeah. distracted. So mm -hmm. while Arya brings that up, maybe as you're walking down the corridor towards like the mess hall, Grubber, requesting an audience with a great good worm is not a thing. You know this. By being a yeah, no, I, that, yeah. that's what I said. We just yeah. need to get a message to him, yeah. not get an audience with him as such. Yeah, it's it would be like someone in Norse mythology demanding to speak to Odin. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just not a thing. Like, you can pull your eye out and hope he likes you, but that it's just not a thing. Obviously, it's a bit different for you guys because Yusuf actually met him, right? It's different perspective wise but obviously it's doesn't necessarily mean that it's achievable again i um, mean these guys are powers. surely if they pray to the golden worm part of kill here that you know it's important potentially. definitely potentially i am um, yeah well if... like i said i said i'm sure i said that we need to get a message to him not that um we had to do that say that i'm sure that's mm -hmm. what i said I meant to say, yeah, I meant to say that anyway, that no. we need to get a message to him. Well, you have this conversation in the corridor. Mm -hmm. Eric, you are stopped by the lore keeper before you leave, as you're the last one out of the, the library. Yes. Yes. That's what I say to him. And, uh, and Dane just looks you up and down and he says, follow me. Okay. And then he puts his hand out. I put my hand on his hand. And you vanish. <laughs> so. Do we notice this? Nope. You are too busy having this conversation about let's go phone the great gold worm. Um, <laughs> let's go phone it. <laughs> right. You head to the mess hall. Are you? Are you going to head off to like the hawkery? I guess. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, yeah. please. You're <laughs> welcome to have went to pick up Ruya uh, and everybody meet at the mess hall if you want. If we skip to that in a wee second. Everybody else can head that way. Yeah. It gives um, Reach time to maybe go see Blade of the Plains if he wants or whatever as well. So we will convene in the mess hall very momentarily. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so light appears around you again, Eric. And a room comes into focus, and it seems to be like a a very well ordered office. Um, and don't know, like maybe it's a bit again that feeling in your stomach, you know, a hundred vomit Ooh. butterflies, etc. Oh no, the heavy, <laughs> yeah, heavy yeah. feeling. And uh, the room does that kind of almost vertical zoom of the walls finding their natural distance from your eyes as your brain tries to process your new location and uh, like Valfiel like runs off to like the the desk area and then he uh, like starts dusting off a, a book that's in a drawer and he starts opening it and he's like how long have the scars been visible uh what, as in sit recently, or as in how how often have they shown in my life? Both. I can't remember when they didn't really appear. Maybe when my sorcery kicked in, like when I gained my magic, and just holds it happened. Up when you say that, is it? And he's like writing with a quill in the book, and he's like, "When did your sorcery?" 
and then he like says the words kick in <laughs> clearly with like <laughs> disapproval <laughs> uh, I think when I was about five human years old I was like yes human years five and then you see him like counting <laughs> And then, um, my thoughts too, to be honest, Sophie, my thoughts too. Um, what even is that noise? It's nothing. Well, it's something because it's getting picked up. Yeah, I thought I hit mute. <laughs> stop that. <laughs> Whatever it is, stop it. Um, it's helping me. It's not. Just guitar. It's, it's definitely not helping any. <laughs> Nobody. It helps. Um, you're no bard. You're crumb bar, not crumb bard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Luke, to leave him alone. Bad, you need to call it Crumbard. <laughs> <laughs> I totally will do that for my next character. And he's Barbarian is Crumb Barbarian. Yep, I get it. Yes. Uh, and then Crumb Rogue. Crumb <laughs> <Crumbar> uh, Rouge. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, so back in the scene we were in. So uh, he says, uh, kicks off, uh, blah, 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 this taste, etc. five years, and starts to like, count as if doing the human to elven conversion. And then he says, yes. This, and he kind of like waves his hand vaguely over like <laughs> your tattered form with this blanket over your shoulders. <laughs> like, this won't do. No. You have vestments more suitable to an agent of the mistress an agent of the mistress sorry no need to apologize to me but she is less patient than i who, the hell who is, is the mistress me? sorry and he kind of looks a bit like like you're talking about something you shouldn't be you know like in school when you're trying to say something to somebody else but you don't want anybody else to hear so he has that look kind of flash across his eyes a little bit and he says you're quite right we shouldn't discuss this here too many prying eyes fix this and he again gestures at you and he points towards like where like an area of the room that you're in that you can see is like clearly where he sleeps and like a kind of cupboard thing, like a kind of a uh, chest uh, kind of set up. It says, I'm sure you'll find something to wear that's slightly more suitable for the time being. Uh, thank you. And I'll go over and try find some sort of robe that has a hood that allows me to cover what blue scars may shine. Yeah, and like you can find like, like this is like a chest full of really fine elven kind of robes, to be honest. So um, what what is your history with this mistress woman? <laughs> that is a player conversation. <laughs> yeah, but you've not yet brought it up, so now I'm bringing it up. <laughs> but Crumbar doesn't know that yet, so hush. Yeah, Crumbar Crumbar doesn't know, but Scott does. Scott wants to know. <laughs> well, well, I can answer these questions outside of the session. So you get changed into something. Um, possibly silvers and blues all the way through it, probably. Um, yes, anything silver and bluey. So you want to cover up your blue with more blue? Yeah, because then you just see it's how but the But this isn't a loving blue. Yeah, it's just how the fabric hits it, obviously, off the skin. Gives you that weird tint, right? Plus it's mm. elven, so it might just seem like it's, you know... Magical. Yeah, magic and elven. Um, so yeah, you get... Magic and bullshit. <laughs> you get some fancy kind of elven, elven digs. Um, it's probably... I don't want to use the term effeminate, but it's probably more delicate than anything Eric's probably wore before. Um, like, Eric's used to well-made clothing, because you're a noble and you've had money all your life. Um, it's not like, say, the rough and tumble the rest of the party might have worn, you know, or the fact that Arya probably killed her clothing to wear it. Um, but yeah, or like, Kitty probably got a discount, five Paul discount. Uh, or Paul discount. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Tail discount. Yeah. So, yeah, like, you know, that's a thing. Whereas, and very possibly, Crumbar killed something you wore at some point, but then has went through an interesting life since. So. I normally eat the things I kill. Kitty. So. You've not killed me, mate. 
Don't you think about it. The the garment that you've chosen and wearing is new levels of comfort beyond what you had before. So it's almost like you feel like you've been lied to by previous uh, <laughs> tailors. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. Yes. Uh, I'll be like, as I put it on, I'll be looking at it going, this is incredible. Where did you get these garments? And he kind of just, he's at his desk, like, kind of, like, scribbling away on, like, a piece of parchment and stuff. And he kind of just looks and goes, hmm, yes, um, and he kind of narrows his eyes as he looks at you across the room. He's like, that one was from a cousin, a gift. I don't wear it anymore. It's a, it's a, it's, <laughs> and he kind of looks at you and he kind of, like, smirks and goes, you could say it brings out your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, bad choice. Now, like, he says that in such a way that elves might get the tone he was going for. <laughs> Where, uh, yeah, he's already. Oh my! I'm just gonna stroke and keep it on because it feels nice. Yeah, it definitely does. That's for sure. Um, it's like uh, like mustering under your breath, like I'm gonna fire the tailors because like they told me <laughs> those were the finest garments in the land. <laughs> but these, to be fair, these are elven clothes. Yeah. But can't be saying they're the finest garments in the land. No. In the lands. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to show him this if he allows me to keep it. I'm going to be like, boom, I want this quality. <laughs> um, and then he kind of like, he, he stops like scribbling his, uh, his note and then he looks up and he's like, Are you suitably attired? Yes. And then he kind of like seems to just be closer than you, you were expecting him to be. And he, like he's very up close and very personal he says I assume this is less obvious when you have control over your energies when I am fully rested I don't have these when I start zapping with my magic and using my lightning it, it shows yes this is a reckless I don't have much training in the in my magic arts. I was a noble in Glithagen and there's not really been a teacher for me. I can like this entire time he's kinda of like looking you up and down. We will speak again. Sue? And he kinda of just like narrows his eyes. And like, and his face doesn't look happy again. He <laughs> says, "We will speak again." And he kind of like, uh, just says, "You may leave." And he goes back to his desk and just points at the door. The door opens. <laughs> I'll stroll out, and where am I? <laughs> yeah, you're like in some random corridor. You don't know. <laughs> the door. Can I use my hammer? The door slams behind you when a. Uh, you leave. Well, is does, does the corridor go, the corridor go left and right? Um, yeah, it does. Also, we're off hello. left. <laughs> well, hello. Uh, do you want to do hello. your intro? <laughs> hello, it's Stuart here. I play Reach a Half Health Monk. There we go. Perfect. Um, we just redressed our sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's better dressed. I'll go, man. No. You can you roll a survival check for him again, Eric? That is. Well. Uh, yep, you get lost for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so everybody else is in the mess hall, including Stuart, aka Reach, um, and Eremos. Uh, now they were all heading off to the the mess hall after being deposited in the library of the. Uh, Citadel, go ahead. but Arya went off to go get Ruya, and then Crumbar and Kitty were off to go get food. So you can just head with them, or you could have went elsewhere. Ah, uh, go for food. I'll yeah. do that. Cool. So everybody goes to the the mess hall, and yeah, we've got maybe we'll have a couple of uh, chats with you guys before <laughs> Eric gets escorted. <laughs> 
So yeah, you all get in, grab plates of whatever is on the go, and then yeah, he's all plonked down. Who's first to speak? <laughs> Well, I'm too busy stuffing my face, though. No, I, I, I think I will be, and I will be like that. Plug. Plug. <laughs> um. Just is so Eremos you know, with us, or? Yeah, Eremos is there as well. Also, Stuart, the goal that was set is inform GDW of the abyss situation. Go ahead. As you're effectively caught up. So, yeah. I also use our lost in the library for about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, library. Yeah. So, yeah, he's um... there. Erlos is there as well, yep. He's just kind of like watching probably Kitty and Crumbar stuff their face. Uh, who has more food on their plate, me or Kitty? Uh, both probably you. Roll, you both of you have a d20. What, sorry? Both, both right. roll a d20. <laughs> Important questions. Oh. Yeah! Oh, oh my god. god. Trumbar. <laughs> <laughs> really? I just, hmm. I just kind of look at Kitty's plate and I'm like, you call that a meal? <laughs> and like, one well, note that is not that much smaller than Crumbar's, but it's just, you know. I got handed the kid's size plate, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's I, like... I was more going to take it that you have like five bits of food on your plate, I have 19. No, like, <laughs> oh. Kitty has those, uh, like a skewer of those barbecued scorpions, but then uh, Crumbar has a giant dead scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, like, so yeah, he's, he's, he's tucked in, he's have food. Anything to discuss while you're here? Yeah, I've scoffed at her. Um, I think. What do you believe our next move should be, guys? I just sort of look up at you, like a scorpion bit just falls out my mouth. Like, <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. I think Aramos just like, he's kind of like eye level with the table and he just like puts his hand up and pushes like the bit of the scorpion closer to your plate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> We should really be going back to the boss, whoever's in charge now, and let them know what's been happening after this food. Yeah, I guess I can agree with you. We need to get a message to the Great Gold Worm somehow. Also, did anyone know that... Crap, what was the guy's name? Gil. Gil was the Great Gold Worm's son. Nope. Oh, it was a bit of surprise, but it was a happy surprise and... at the time. <laughs> like, I didn't even know there were not. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> well, Could I ask? Am I still guys? in the? No, you can. You can be there as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, I, I probably have Ria back, right? I was able to to find her. Yeah. Yay! Okay. So, um, I, I, if, as she walks in, I just look up and grin and go. Ah, Aria, you brought seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and then just have a laugh to myself. Can we assume Ruya understands and, like, try to check him? Just saying. Like an indignant squawk, like... <laughs> uh, sadly, Ruya couldn't possibly understand the machinations okay. of the crumbar, alas. Because <laughs> we struggle. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I uh, I then turn to him and with a glare say, "You best hope she doesn't make a bit of you her dinner." <laughs> nom nom nom. So I sit down and ask, "What's the plan? How are we going to um relay the message to the Golden Worm as we were to?" <sighs> We can just, uh, we'll just get Captain McFace to do it. Can't remember his name, sorry guys. Captain McFace. 
Captain McCaptain face. Um, mm. I mean, I think if, if we mentioned it involves his son, like the Great Goldworm's son, that, you know, kind of put us maybe with an audience with him, because, you know, I'm guessing people don't know he has a son. Why well, we don't go, why don't we go to the first, like the highest ranking person here, and I mm. turn to the guys that are from the order, you guys know who it is, and tell them that Gil instructed us to seek the the golden worm. We don't know if it's common knowledge that Gil is his son, so we might not want to mention it to everybody, but mm -hmm. only to the higher ups who might be aware of the relationship. Oh yeah, we could say Gil told us to find his dad. <laughs> Mm, that could work. Um, well, the highest well, ranking person happened to be eating right now as well. No. I'm sure they wouldn't eat in the mess hall anyway. Why not? They're all army. I thought army is a bit... Uh, general Stan. Nah, General Stan. <laughs> you're a tiny bit quiet, by the way. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like that's good that. Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Uh, it'll be bit. Commander Slayer Bass. He's he he came with us. So is anybody aware who is in charge here? Has he made it back? Slayer Bass. Sorry, do you mean the guy that was that... way up in Glitterhagen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where are we? Yeah, I've been looking at this. So you're at the south. Gil. You're at the Citadel. high commander. Oh, was Gil? Why not? Right. Okay. So Gil. he was the high commander. Gil's the high commander. Yeah. Yep. Um, right. Commander Slilbass was the gnome guy in charge of Glitterhagen's chapter. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he would be the equivalent of, like, um, see the, like, Broga and all that. that was yeah, with yeah. The guys. Like, he'd be, like, the so, equivalent of her level. Yeah. So who's Gil's right-hand man here? We need to try and find out who that is. Exactly. Yeah. So can you and Crumbar or pick one of you to roll history with advantage? Another person can have helped. So, uh, do you just want to roll it? Yeah, I'll roll it with advantage and thank you for the help. Because oh. maybe this conversation comes yes. up and you don't need the help from Crumbar, but Crumbar was good enough anyway. Um, but you both look at each other. Crumbar is obviously shoveling scorpion meat into his mouth and you both look and then the name comes to your head. Ah, Zadreka. So I'll type it in chat for everybody. Um, so it's going to be... Uh, I'll just type acting commander, I guess. Acting high commander Zadreka Adanash. Adanash. She has a reputation in the Golden Order for being effective, a bit of a flizzy. <laughs> effective at destroying things that stand against the Golden Order. So she Ooh. is the fire behind the name, if you will. Um, she is a, a dark elf or a silver folk person. Drow. Um, no. Remember, drow is a bit like a slanderous term in this world. This is drow? It's Just call it drow, it's fine. It's a, it's a bad work. word, Crumbler. <laughs> For who? for dark elves right okay so she's a dark elf um, right no i was just i wanted to know what she was so culturally you've got the high elves the dark elves and the wood elves but the dark elves have a very bad rap especially since they're technically at war with the dwarves nobody talks about that because they're not at war they're at war and um, <laughs> it's because they fight over the the underworld uh, like the literally underground parts of the world <laughs> and uh yeah, they get a bad rap. Uh, people that don't like them will call them drow. It's a very rude word. It's the D word. So, you don't. If you want to be yeah. polite, you'll call them one of the silver folk because of their silver hair and charismatic nature. Um, obviously, this particular silver folk prefers gold. So she's a... Yes, Golden folk. Commander is a Dreka Adanash. So I take it she's a mage going... Off are you saying she's higher behind her? No, she just no. doesn't necessarily wait to hear what people's excuses are for summoning demons. 
No, oh, cool. Huh. I like I like this girl. <laughs> you you won't if you call her girl. <laughs> I'm guessing it's not a woman. She'll become your dungeon master. Hang on. But yeah, so Crumbar and Reach maybe look at each other and lock eyes and realize, of course, given who went on the mission, who's left to be in charge? It yeah. Be Zadreka or Commander Adanash. Now, see the way Broga was kind of like a, you know, would say something straight to your face with deadpan look, then elbow you in the gut and laugh at you and walk away? Zadreka mm -hmm. would do that, but she'd stab you in the gut and stare at you <gasps> till you fell over. <laughs> <laughs> she'd stab you in the gut and then just to make sure that you got the joke she'd stab you again <laughs> and then she'd laugh about it because you're like yeah look we're friends <laughs> but no so yeah she's not um, anything that you fell out with Broga about you could have a drink with and go over probably as long as you got absolutely hammered with Broga um, to the point where she forgot who you were you just became a keg of beer to her um, whereas yeah Zadreka would probably curse you until she died <laughs> or you mm -hmm. died one of the two so maybe you just have that look of oh <laughs> no thank you to realizing who the acting uh, commander will be and then you can share that information as you wish with the rest of the party sorry to tell you who speaks first <laughs> yeah oh sorry I'm great oh, yeah, thank you well, he's just told us basically, but yeah, I think we both know Zadreka Adanash. Uh, not looking forward to this meeting, but we still need to let them know about it. Uh, by the way, don't use the D word when you meet them. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure racism's a common knowledge. Yeah, I was going to say, though, it, is like, it is common to know that if, if you're in a bar and one of the silver folk were in the bar and one of the humans was there and it was very low life it would likely come up that they'd be like filthy drew at some point because you know scummy bar chat um then there'd be a nice fight probably so yeah i've got a knife, <laughs> Not a knife. That's That's a, not oh a i've been knife. stabbed 10 times oh bear with me a second i'm beeping oh for a second, I thought it was mine. I was like, what? What did I do now? Because my house has various things that make noise from time to time, and I don't know until it's happening. Hello? Hello. Good night, the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my thing, I think I just cut out for a bit there. Last thing I heard was a beeping. Oh yeah, that was last thing. What? Who, who's died? Ryan. I thought this toast is ready. <laughs> Man, I could, <laughs> I could murder some toast right now. Can I roll for toast? <laughs> um, we'll put the, the acting DM high commander is to. Can I do a nature check to see if I can find toast? <laughs> no, survival check. Yeah, I don't think it's a nature check. It doesn't grow in trees. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why do I, I said it. Oh, yes. I that's elusive toast tree <laughs> I, I said can I do a nature check to see if I can find toast but it would be a survival check wouldn't it I mean yeah and I understand why people were laughing <laughs> right anyway so what do you do you've had that realisation that it will be commander Zadreka uh, I roll for toast <laughs> I, mean, I mean you could probably find someone that's willing to burn like bread right in this world so <laughs> eric zap this bread i'm not there <laughs> oh yeah neither you are so maybe at that point you hold up bread yeah, and go, maybe you hold up some bread and you go eric and turn around and realize he isn't with you yeah no 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 <laughs> guys where's eric yeah it'd be good to have all of us before we go meet the boss huh? is he still in the library <laughs> All right, whose job was it to look after the the what's he called druid? Sorcerer, please. Hello. Sorry, I just love the idea that like Kitty is like I don't know. You should lightning. That's a druidy thing. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots lightning, therefore he's a bard. The posh druid. What's that? The sorcerer. <laughs> you know the, one, the, the magic no, you do. <laughs> the one that's probably a vegan. Wow. <laughs> So, oh no. Scott Pilgrim reference? No. So I think at this point, Eric 
you are being led through corridors by a very very old man in kind of like old monk robes um he's got like, oh, a, like he's got like a hunched back um as well and he's very slow but he's the only person you've met wandering these corridors and <laughs> he was very happy to take you to the mess hall you've had to tell him that four times where <laughs> you were going um and he has described every single part of the you know the stonework of the citadel to you as if he hand built the citadel that's how much detail he's going into this is where i go into diplomatic noble mode and be like yes very good <laughs> yeah he's um noble mode activated <laughs> he's definitely very detailed in that um Let's see. Can I get him a name? Let's find. Let's find a name. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll go generate one of those. Also, when I'm doing this, this is when everybody else has to formulate their next step plans. By the way, when I buy use time with this, just so you know. Um, let's see. Where is his name? Is wow. These are some good names. He's called Jet. We'll go with that. <laughs> From Avatar? You'd know about the stone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought it was quite a good one. The options yeah. were Patrick, Nathaniel, Harry, Xavier, Sonny, Jet, Charlie, Connor, Justin, and Marcus. So I'm going to go you with should Jet. have done Sonny. I know, I just didn't. I just, I couldn't. <laughs> Come on. It's been a good inside joke. So he's called Jet. And I think Jet's a good inside joke, given your comment there Stu. So uh, yeah. So Jet, the old man who's describing everything about the stonework for you. And uh, this is not a fast story. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think just for dramatic effect, you can have been negotiated into the uh, the mess hall where he stops by and starts describing the hearth to you where the big fire is. Ah, uh, yay. And he goes to like kind of like usher you on to the next room, even though this is where you wanted to go. Ah, oh, cool. I'm finally here in my elven garments. Everyone look at me in my fabulousness. And he just starts walking down the corridor, still talking to himself. <laughs> just gonna go. Right, so Bye, Eric, Jet. right. So has Eric just walked in saying that? He's just been like escorted in. Uh, they've stood this old man hunched over you'd, you'd recognize jet and uh, mm. he's just discussing the fireplace and how old the stones are and how they had to lift it up so many flights of stairs and uh you know then he goes okay on to the next part of the tour essentially and he just walks away <laughs> talking like describing things and obviously eric just stands there <laughs> i'm just gonna look at him and be like nah i'm not a mess all so where's the party at so have you so you've so you've just walked in saying, look at my fabulous garments. Yep. I I... Just thought, bah, Crumbar, <laughs> Crumbar just picks up a handful of scorpion and chucks it at him. Can I dodge out the way? Can I, can I roll to see if it hits? Sure. A attack roll, I guess, with strength and a dexterity save, I guess. Sure. Uh, me roll with strength as a saving. Well, as why a... would you dex if? Why would you dex if? <laughs> I don't know. Oh crap! Roll that way. Doesn't matter. It's a five. <laughs> yeah, he dodges it. Elegantly dodge out of the way like an elf. I am an elf now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm just gonna say, the clothes doth not maketh the man. <laughs> <laughs> the elf, right? <laughs> <laughs> I stand by my words. <laughs> Purposely, like, putting emphasis on the man section mm -hmm. of that, like, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> right, now I'm going to drop the elf act to go find food, because I'm, I'm very hungry. Yeah, and I think the, the paladin in their kind of casual gear uh, just kind of looks you up and down, and then just, like, smirks and he just slides a kind of plate of whatever the bowl of stew or whatever is 
to you. <laughs> yep, 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 food's food. I think they got the last of the scorpions, that's all, man. I mean, food's food, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. We're going to go take it and sit next, uh, sit down to him. Like, Hi, guys. And then you just hear, like, Aramos from, like, under the table mumble. Because you can only see his eyes as he's looking at eye level at the table. And he's like, <laughs> did you change? Uh, no. He just scowls. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been like this, Eromos. Do you need glasses? Well, definitely... Wait, do we know what glasses are? <laughs> yes, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> and yeah, glasses are a thing. <laughs> yeah, I just got to stare at him. After he says difficult, he goes, sure. And then start eating, like gla- shoveling. Glasses would be used just to like magnify, like if that makes sense. You know, almost like reading glasses idea. Yeah. It wouldn't necessarily be used for like super detailed optician work unless you were like an ocular mage. But yeah, so Aramos at a table and he's kind of like kicking his feet just because he's got nothing to do and he's short. So yeah, he's just waiting and everybody to do something basically. Yeah. Well, I'm catching for the last time and nomming. Yeah, so what are you saying? You get back to the table just after a mask grill issue? It's like, give a quick nod to uh, everyone. It's like, so, yo, how's it hanging? And start nomming. Mm. Hurry up with your food. We're already late going to see the commander, uh, acting commander. Shouldn't have left me behind then. You should know how to keep up. Yeah. Well, it's not my fault when your colleagues stop me. Can I do an attack roll to throw my remaining scorpion at him? Sure. Why not? Sting it in first. <laughs> Another deck save, yeah? Sure. So I can duck. Wait, what is it? Um, oh, oh, is it just I'm at the table. I'm not. <laughs> I've given yeah. my elfish disguise. I mean, we've still not seen how well she throws it yet. So dex probably for you to throw it. Dex for me. Yeah. Uh, Just as an actual dex roll. Yeah. Eh! Eh! Yeah. Eh! <laughs> Smacks him in the face. Yeah. The one place the elven robes aren't. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. I wasn't aiming I wasn't aiming to hit the robes, because, you know, no one wants Scorpion on it. Sweetest look we've got this session, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, I don't know, maybe some merriment passes as you all, like, finish your meals and stuff. Unless Eric wants to explain the wonders of the masonry work of uh, the Citadel. I'm just going to go, so, Reach, Krumba, do you know a lovely old man called Jet? Yes, yes I do. He's probably not to avoid Jet, because Jet just probably has never stopped talking. I, I'd just say, uh, I, I, Jet's the uh, tour guide. Kind of look at me go. He doesn't live up to his name, does he? He's a very slow jet. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just like, well, well, if jet by jet you mean he's as fast as a rock, then yeah, he does actually. <laughs> <laughs> I just say he's like, well, he's the tour guide. Yeah, we don't do tour, so <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mm. Maybe it's like a hazing thing, you know, we get like a new recruit, you send them on a tour like, yeah. with Jet, and really it's just how long will you actually wander around with him? He's just an NPC <laughs> whose script just keeps repeating over and over and over again. Like, you just set, tell them to go for a long stand, but you just it's the Jet equivalent. <laughs> uh-huh. It's so good. It is so good. I love that as a hazing thing. Um, <laughs> we're like new recruits. That's so good. Um, but yeah, so what's the plan now that you've finished your meal? Yeah, so guys, catch me up. What are we doing now? What is the plan? Well, we need to pass on the information we've got, so we're off to see the what acting commander. <laughs> yeah, that should be the thing. That should be what we do, honestly. Cool, let's go find whoever this person is. Uh, you weren't here. Don't mention the D word when you meet them. That's a D bit, word? Yeah, a little bit prickly. 
Oh. You mean the D word? You'll know uh, when you see you'll it. See. Yeah. <laughs> It's a her, right? I'm not crazy. I didn't miss your things. I mean, technically, they haven't said anything to that effect. They just said... Oh, okay, okay. Them. Like, okay. I just stand up, give it a big burp, and go, let's go then! And then just start start stomping mm -hmm. towards the... Uh, the office, I guess. Whatever it would be. The mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand up and follow him, look at Reach and go, look at me, I'm an elf like you, and elegantly glide across the floor. <laughs> I am only a half elf. That's. And yeah. That's, <laughs> you're only yeah. a half ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> half elf. <laughs> Tell me this if you're a half elf, what's the other half? Human. 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 Mm. No, I was just wondering if you got to pick differently. Yeah, you do it. You can't be half elf, half orc, for example. Guess orcs and elves. Oh god. Well, it'd be pretty violent if they did get together. Like the two <laughs> <point> <laughs> opposite, opposite things. No, they're really, I guess I always kind of looked at it as um, you're half elven. It's not necessarily. It just kind of means like you're a diluted elf in some way. It's not specific mm. who, but in this kind of world, I just seen it as there's a human lineage or an elven lineage that got diluted one way um, so it's like a bit of fey blood into a human lineage for example like exposure to a fey creature might cause somebody to have a fey kid aka a half elf for example so it might not even be it could be two human parents you know um, what yeah really mind blown um, in yeah, this world very yeah. much so not necessarily in somebody else's D&D world, right? But in oh. that, that, that's how it works. Just the same as how Crumbar is not a half-orc. He's an orc, but other orcs would call him a half-orc because he's tamed mm. by the city. And he's small mm. and puny. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> Compared to orcs? <laughs> no, I mean, Crumbar, like, obviously being a certain level of a character, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward to the part where it doesn't really matter because he is an orc for all intents and purposes. It's just oh. other full blooded tribal orcs would think of him as a half orc because he's not in the tribe. It's a, it's a bit like their kind of derogatory term for other orcs that are cast out. So. Ah, uh, he's an outcast. Yeah, but by translation, it is half orc. So it's also, like, for the record, I'm six foot two. <laughs> yeah, Grumbar's a big boy. Um. <laughs> Whereas Eremos is like three foot nothing, right? So, Which is why I have to crouch down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, so you head off to the office. Um, just straight there or going anywhere else first? Straight there. Don't think straight. anyone needs to weave yeah. about the place, do we? Yeah, straight there. Technically should have went there before Eton, but yeah, straight uh, there. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. It's 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 end of the world's coming. Me stop for a wee dinner, yeah. but yeah. Have a snack. <laughs> Shoot some shit, get a wee tour, um, get, get some new, get a new robe from a random librarian. Yeah, <laughs> perfectly legitimate. Uh, yeah, so you get there anyway. I get to the office and like the main doors to the corridor are open. Um, so remember there was like the kind of foyer part with the desk that Broga sat at. That's empty, um, and the doors are lying open uh, towards the corridor. Mm. Shall we go down and start knocking on every door? Hello? Well, it's... Did you go through the last time, Eric, to Guild's nope. office? Because um, it was just double doors that led to a big corridor to double doors again. Ah. So yeah, basically just like a really, really long vestibule. <laughs> but those doors are open anyway, the ones nearest you. Well, let's go then. So yeah, he's all head through, yep, he's all walking yep. all the way up, head up, and then use your face with the big heavy doors of the office. Let the orc do the heavy lifting. Just, just yeet them all open. Do you want to do that? Do no, it. go you up and give a big chap. Go up and give a big chap on the door. Okay, right, so you knock on the door, and then... Like a big boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And then, uh, I'm sure there's a song reference for that too. <laughs> and then, there's maybe... <laughs> You're like, how long would you wait before you'd knock again? If you heard nothing. Um, like... Three, four seconds. Four or five seconds. Yeah. Cool. yeah, so there's nothing in that time. 
No answer. I just bang again even louder. But that kinda kinda knock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like kinda more deliberate and slow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then how long would you wait? A couple of seconds. Okay. Did you knock again? Uh, is, is there still not been an answer? Still nothing, no. At this point, yeah, is like, it... I don't know, seven seconds time we've waited here. Yeah. Question, is it a push yes, or a pull door? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got so much more class in there. Um, the, uh, is it a push or a pull door? The doors uh, open in the way, but you, they were opened for you last time. Mm, so they're push doors. Yes. So I just try and push them open. Roll athletics, actually. It would be a actual athletics. Um, they don't crap. budge. I hit it with my hammer. Go for it. Uh, what did I do? Just an just attack, attack roll? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Does it like does anyone even react to Crumbar? Just I'm just gonna door. step back. Yeah, yeah I think uh, like... whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like opening <laughs> the door normally first or <laughs> well, I guess you did, but still He did because he, he did push it. Yeah. And like you know this yeah. door these doors open in the way as well. Um yeah. so he pushed it, obviously he didn't really To be fair, that roll makes me think he just touched the door and went, Well, it clearly needs a hammering. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I I proper tried to like just like push, the, like mm -hmm. shove them open, and then, uh, yeah. So does so, that does uh, Reach's word stop you swinging your hammer before you swing it, or did you? Swing oh it? no, no, no! I have a clatter the 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 full face of the hammer into the door. Cool. Yeah. I roll a d twenty. A d twenty. Yeah. Don't get one. Pa. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your hammer fine. breaks. <laughs> How did I roll a one? I said, Don't roll a one Again. Roll one. <laughs> You've almost been rolling only once in two's decision. I don't know how. So, yeah. yeah. Mighty hammer. Yeah, okay. We'll try just pushing it ourselves. And I'll give you a hand. Right. No, so. Let's no, so no, as you like nice. swing. Like I think what happens is obviously Crumbar goes to push open the doors, and he goes hmm, and you just see him like un like furl the hammer, and he, he swings it like a baseball bat, and then you're like whoa 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 whoa, think about this, and he's like you're right, two hands go on it, <laughs> and then he <laughs> swings it at the door, <laughs> and it just does that kind of like you know metal on marble kind of clang, and then the shattering kind of spike of noise as the, the metal rings out and then the, the head of the hammer clatters along the floor and then he's just left with the handle and it's like kind of vibrating like a tuning fork um, hmm. and then as you hear that like they hear the door like start to open and uh, they swing open uh, and they lead into the office with like the light floods into the corridor from the office and you see this uh, like f female figure sitting behind the desk with kind of long silvery hair uh, kind of like, you know, just kind of very, very like poker straight almost. Can I just point out, no. I got the door open. No, you cannot. And then, uh, no, no, I got the door. I did get the door open. I'm be I'll server mute you. Don't make me. <coughs> so she, um, she looks up and she says, and she's just staring straight at like the group of you all. Um, she does not look impressed at all. And she said, Point towards Crumbar. <laughs> it was good. And she says, do you have no manners? Point again towards Crumbar. <laughs> <laughs> In sight now. I just storm in and it's like, where are your manners? We thought I thought something and was just, wrong. Like, as you start speaking, she says, silence. <laughs> and I just kind of grunt. And then she says, everybody inside. Oh, that's Watson. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I just kind of... Yeah, no, you're in, um, she's, like, yeah. pointing to everybody else who's probably still, like, yeah. kind of... Yep. <laughs> gingerly out <laughs> in the hall. <laughs> Why the fuck did you attack a door? <laughs> so, does everybody else come in? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. and uh, let's say apologies. High Commander, we've been given some very urgent information and we wanted to... Um, Deliver it to to yourself as quickly as possible, and yes, the apologies. He does have no matters. We are aware of this. And she's just like staring at you, and then I think at that point, Eremos very slowly picks up like the hammerhead, kind of just quickly walks into the room, <laughs> and just stands behind Arya. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the door is like closed behind you guys as well. And she says, you have information that is pertinent. Yes, about the abyss. Do you all speak as one, or is there a spokesperson? And she looks at both of the paladins. Uh, I just... We all have the same information, and my colleague's probably not the most, most diplomatic one to talk. <laughs> but... and, and she puts her hand up to like, kind of like quiet, and she points to Kitty, and she goes, are you speaking next? I just sort of too busy looking at Crumpa's hammer broken. I'm just like, what? <laughs> what about you, little one? And she looks past, obviously, Arya to look at Armos, and he just like stays behind Arya. <laughs> I've had teachers like this woman. Huh. Speak. <laughs> And she just kind of, she just glares at Crumbar. Oh, so okay, I, I noticed mm -hmm. nobody else picks up, so I okay. end up saying, um, we've been sent on a mission by the Golden Worm, and we have been, I wouldn't say successful or unsuccessful, we have found some information, but We've also been told to return as quickly as possible and to seek him out and provide this information. Um, Gil was the one that told us to do so. And she kind of like stops. She goes, that is High Commander Gil. Apologies. Um, we've, we've just been together for... I have no idea how much we were in the Abyss for. And... Um, we're not really fully ourselves and back. I'm trying to convey that we've been through this ordeal, so we're a yeah. bit wrecked right now, basically. We have no time for formalities. And she, st she stands up and goes, that would be evident due to your two-month absence. Oh. We ate very little during that two months. Time must have flew a lot faster where we were. Your dietary yes. requirements do not entice me. Where is the High Commander? Fighting a demon that we saw in the abyss. So you abandon your leader? By order, he ordered us to abandon him. To he didn't end? order us to abandon him, he ordered he us to leave. He did. Yeah, same thing. There seems to be dissent amongst your ranks. No, sorry, that wasn't in game. Sorry. Crumbar's not washed for a while. That's what the scent is, but it's okay. No, I thought did he not order us to leave? Did he not order us to leave and go back home? He didn't order us to abandon them. Okay, well, it did yeah, kind of. Yeah, but it's the same thing. thing. Yeah. Not really. Abandonings when you just go. Well, let's, have you leave this guy. let's have all this in character, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He ordered us to leave and pass on the information. So yes. We had to abandon him to leave him. And did you find the source of the disturbance at the abyss? There was some massive demon that Gil uh, fought, and there was a portal. Uh, what was the thing on the portal? Uh, did we get any information about that? Uh, oh, the. The big little tall being. Yeah, there was a friendly creature on the portal that helped us to leave quickly and to get back here. I'm gonna like kind of stand to the side so she can't see my hammer. 
but we only felt as though we were away for probably a week. So yeah, time has has worked differently at the best compared to here. Kind of or like, maybe it was when we were going through the portal. She's like kind of studying, like your um, like your posture and everything. Now, she kind of like looks across the group and she goes, "So you have left the high commander to the abyss, and I am to believe that." <laughs> Hold up. Uh, Please stand by while we have some audio technical difficulties. Apologies. <laughs> it's okay. Technical so everybody's back. I think, everybody, I think it's just everybody that had it. Anyway, so anyway, yeah, that's what she says. And it was in uh, Dark Elven. Did nobody understand it? No. Um, no. no. I totally missed that. Apologies. No. Oh, okay. okay. So she said no. something in Dark Elven. No, she didn't. What? We all missed it. It was just electronic. Uh, everybody had. Oh, sorry, joking. Sorry. Uh, everybody My bad. had Discord issues. It's fine. So anyway, so sure. she says. So I am to believe that you have left the High Commander fighting a demon, but yet a secondary friendly creature helped you escape, and a portal opened at the Abyss, notorious for its difficulty in travel magic. Exactly. Technically, maybe two portals, because the creature was standing at a portal, and we were able to create another one to get it back here. I just... At this point, I just point at uh, Eric and go, Magic Hammer! Bring! I kind of take a step back. Yeah, that wasn't a jealous voice at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, 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 I'm like, I'm, I'm not pissed because my hammer broke. That is your own doings there. No, it wasn't. It was the one. It's not like you can just go into the armory here and help yourself to another one. Oh, oh, I'm to <laughs> to well, not totally. right now, right now, but just not right that. now. But right now, I don't have a hammer, <laughs> so I I'm angry. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I'm I'm grassing you in. <laughs> so then, like she's standing there, and obviously, like she's obviously behind the desk, and goes, "And you wish to pass this on to the gold worm." Gil ordered us to do so, so we're obligated to do this, yes. If, do we have any urgent method of communication with the Great Gold Worm? After time passed and you were uncontactable, the Gold Worm was attempted to be contacted. There has been no word. That was a month ago. Oh. Well, do you know? News. Do you know of Gil's origins? She just kind of like narrows her eyes at you. You speaking less is how I would be pleased. <laughs> Me having a hammer is how I would be pleased, she but we don't all get what we want. If... And, she and I, 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 again, I just grunt at her. <laughs> You really don't do well with people in this office, do you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's the arc in me. So you have no way of uh, contacting the great god worm. And she kind of just looks again through the group at you who are trying to like slink in the back. She's like, and who is this who speaks? I am um, Lord Eric Greenwood. My apologies, my lord. You can tell that there's just laced with just... <laughs> Unimpressiosity. <laughs> We're not going to get anything from this... race. Where was the great gold worm last seen? Child looks at you like confused. Okay, that's a, a yeah. bizarre question. I am not his keeper. Does anybody know where he was going or last time? We operate on behalf of the Great Gold Worm. We do not keep tabs on him. He operates independently to us. We could get a better information from Gluthagen if we go there. We know Commander Selbas uh, spoke with him. 
maybe he has a better idea than this dark elf. Have you forgotten that I am in the room with you, noble? How could I forget? What would you recommend we do? Uh, uh, Zedreka Adanash, acting high commander. And then she kind of just looks at you and she's like, I am unsure how to proceed in their absence. For the moment, we are keeping the line. Which is just a way of saying we're doing our job, right? Um, yeah, yeah. There has been we... no resurgence from the abyss since your departure. If time is working differently there, they, it could happen any moment. You might want to be a, a week or so ahead of them. Is there any way to strengthen the, the barracks here to get more uh, people, more army? You Sorry, wish, guys, that's me back. You wish us to recall the paladins? It might be prudent, because this would be the, the closest place we, where we can defend against anything that comes out of the abyss. And what if this abyssal breach you speak of is exactly that, a ploy to pull our resources? That would be for up to you to decide, but we met we had no chance of beating, and I don't know if Gil has, Commander Gil has managed to beat it. It could be a very close fight, and that was only one demon. There was a door there. There could be more demons coming through. Yeah, and as I described as well from the actual like session ago, it seemed like the rip yeah, was being like yeah. pulled open with like many, many thousands of hands ripping open like the seams of reality, um, Got you. as if things were like desperate to crawl through. Um, yeah. It definitely wasn't. This was the, just the first big thing to step through, of course. Um, yeah. As if this was a thing almost like called to by the ritual. Um, <laughs> with that weird winged creature wrapped in chains and then the weird blooded creature wrapped in chains that were killed. But yeah, like... Yeah, she's kind of just like standing in deep thought, if you know what I mean. Like her kind of... Um, like the light hits off like her hair to the point where maybe that's slightly distracting to the point where she's stopped speaking. Um, and she looks like in deep thought. Does MD break the silence? I know we're all looking at Crumber. Um, can I just double check just because obviously there was a way though. So what was kind of discussed there? Uh, mostly just that Reach said that he was worried that if time works differently, whatever's happening at the Abyss might be happening now-ish. And also she said that there had been no like disruptions or anything, no resurgence at the abyss. So it's not like demons have poured out yeah. since you've been because away for what, two months. Because what I'm wondering if what's happened is see whatever spell teleported us back, if that if that spell when we're in that spell two months passed before we re emerged. What sorry? So I don't know. That's a, that's a question, isn't it? We'd have to research more into Lord Janice. Oh, that's the thing. Should ask her. Should ask her that. Uh, do you want to batter in with that yeah, one? So do then? you want to break the silence then and maybe ask that? Well, like, do you know of anyone called Lord Janus? And she kind of just like narrows her eyes and then kind of like, looks to the side of it as if like processing. And she goes, "Old God, no longer we... worshipped actively." Since... Well, he's no longer. Oh, sorry, he's still alive. And I think, like, see when you say, like, he's lo no longer, she just, like, you see her, like, grimace her teeth almost, like, as if, like, a dog that's angry. Um, like, her kind of sh sorry, her teeth. Yeah, sorry, I thought you were done speaking. No, but, like, you see her, like, bare mm. her teeth at you, as if <laughs> it's quite distasteful. Like, she doesn't like the fact that she doesn't maybe get the respect she thinks she's entitled to in this position. And uh, she turns around back to Eric and says, You were saying about the old god. We met him in the abyss, standing next to the portal. He's the being that allowed us to return. So you're trying to make me believe you have lured the High Commander away for betrayal, yet you dress it up with demons, abyssal breaches, and old gods being your friend. 
I walk Sorry. toward a desk and slam my hammer on the table and go, he gave me this gem, but I don't let go of the hammer. Can I just interrupt quickly? No, like, I think seeing that scene, as soon as you, like, you, like pull the hammer off your belt and start walking towards her. That's for you, Eric, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of yeah, so pull it out. Like, as you, like, pull the hammer off your belt and start walking towards her, she, um, hops over the desk to, like, meet you before, like, you get close, and then you just see in golden light her armor just shimmer into place. I, just, I look at her and go, I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to show you. And just hold the hammer up toward her and go, you give me this. Can I just check something, guys? Mm -hmm. Sorry, see when I was watching the last session, I thought the Sir Jaden guy was the demon that came through the portal. <laughs> Sir Jaden. No, this is not a Warcraft. <laughs> no, sorry. What what was the guy? What was the guy's name? Lord Janus. Janus. Oh yeah, Lord Janus. Well, I thought that was the demon that came through the portal. No, no. What? So who was so, that? See the summoner that was in yeah. like, the bubble. He turned yeah. back to the weird red, vapory, smoky, plasma thing. And yeah. Said, Lord Janus, may I like have permission to leave? Essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that was the thing so that I thought, was standing I, yeah. next to. I thought he was talking to the big demon thing yeah. that just came. That's to. the thing. So, he essentially was like, "Come in." Right. So he's like, "Right, done my job." Right. So who's the big <laughs> Why demon guy? Why would she stay there? <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Who cool. is the big demon guy? Maybe you want to add that to your goal list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is big? But yeah. So demon like, guy? Eric, you're standing in front of her with this hammer, and you're like, you know, what was your life? Why would he help us come back then? Who knows? What? We don't know. What a penis. So, Eric, what is it you're saying to her as you hold this hammer out? Do you already said I'm not I, going uh, to attack you? I believe the being known as Lord Janus gave me this red gem to get us out of there. And then she kind of looks at it and she goes, You bring this demon treasure into my house i just enter up and go like or just like kind of shout in told you magic hammer this demon treasure saved our lives and got the information out of the abyss and it's probably the most useful thing we've encountered and as you said and you brought it here it could be a gateway from the abyssal breach you speak of to my door then that means that right, can, but... <laughs> I just think, then that means we can use it to get back. The the gateway closed behind us, so I assumed it was a one time use. Your assumptions could kill everybody in this world. Yeah. Let's go to the library and find out then. That's where we entered. And your assumptions about not bringing the army back could just kill everyone in this world as well. There's like, a lot to consider. Yeah, and like she does, like she kind of like her lip kind of closes, if you know what I mean. Like it kind of goes like firm, and she does like kind of acknowledge that she's not dismissive of the fact that she knows she's in a tricky spot, right? And um, she just has two idiots with hammers in front of her, and then um... <laughs> one with a broken hammer. <laughs> yeah, and one with some weird red fucking encrusted jewel hammer, um, or sorry, infected's probably a better word. Um, so yeah, she like turns to you each and she goes. If I recall the paladins and we leave the ends of the earth, as it were, unprotected, demons could unearth themselves mm -hmm. and cause more trouble. And she kind of like almost nods slightly towards you as if, do you get the trickiness of this? Yeah, yeah. So she's like, this could be a ploy to pull as back a balance in yeah. If I pull back everybody, do I leave us defenseless here? And then she waves at the hammer. Have we invited? And then she kind of just looks at it, grief into our lives. To be fair, we're probably best leaving anyway because we need to find the gold worm, great gold worm. So we can obviously we can take that potential yes. liability. 
Sí, va a ser. No, no, no. Yes, you said you had a lead on this in the Glutterhagen chapter with Slelbas. It would be a good place to start. It's our only place to start, really. Unless I will any better language. I will send word to Slelbas to expect you. And you will find travel on a boat. Thank you. Can we replenish some of our equipment as well, please, before we head? If you and don't she, mind. And she looks every day and she goes, and she just stares at Crumbar. And she goes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's not staring at Kitty, because I presume Kitty's still kittied up. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> oh, bolts. Yeah, good. And then she says, um, take what you need, but not any more than what you need for the journey. If you speak the truth, we will need everything we can have for this fight. Certainly, and yes, sounds as though you're right. Now take this one from me. And then she just looks at him. And I think the implication is, take this one from me, maybe she means take this fight from me, because she will fight him if he stays any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Quick try, who won? And then uh, she... Uh, as you're like starting to like leave because the door's open again behind you, um, our mosque gets startled a little bit, and uh, she says, "If you make contact with Dorm, implore him for help." Are you going there? Just gonna mute them. Yeah, I'll still, I'll still. <laughs> So yeah, so she she says that uh, to your reach as uh, you are leaving the room. Basically, just she. Basically, beg the worm to help us if this is as serious as you know. Yeah, we'll to be. go and we'll bring back any help we can, of course. But yeah, we'll go find the gold worm first of all. That's the main and, objective. And she looks yeah. at the like kind of like Eric, who's probably one of the first to leave the room. Uh, yep. She kind of like says, Turn on my heels and storm out. Yeah, and she uh, probably not storm out, it's a bit dangerous. And then <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah, so she she says to you, Rich, I would get somebody with a professional eye to look over that artifact gifted by benevolent creatures of the abyss. That it does not sit well with me. That sounds wise advice as well. Yep. Now go and bring us hope. At that point, I uh, just... At that point, we take a break. So... Mm -hmm. She says, go and bring us hope, Good. just leave dramatically, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll see you every day in 10 minutes, so mm -hmm. enjoy your break. <laughs>